Fast and Furious 6. Let's get on with that, bitch. Brass Tacks. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Tacks, and this bitch. You already know. You already know. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this. I know in the US, you're still waiting for this to turn up, and you're trying to figure out whether you should pick it up or not. I got... Fast and Furious 6, Fast and Furious 7. I watched them both, distributed by Universal. You know they fucked up with the Bourne series. Now would you look at this, Fast and Furious 6 in this bitch on 4K Ultra HD. Let's just like, I like this, I like the whole shiny shit. Let's take a look here. Feature commentary, deleted scenes, okay that's your typical Blu-ray special features. Uh, this is a tight fit, guys. Here we go. There we go. Ultra HD. Nice artwork there. And obviously, you have the digital code, and then you've got the Blu-ray version. I know there's some people out there who actually feel that these unboxings are a complete waste of time. And you might be right, but... They're, people really love this shit. They love watching unboxings. Like, say, if you order something, you may be curious as to what's inside the box just to get you even more excited. And this is why people watch this stuff. I understand it. I get it. This one was good. I preferred five. And seven was awesome, too. Six one, basically, Dominus crew escaped. They're fugitives in this bitch. But The Rock got some problems with another team. He finds out where Dominus crew is and asks for their help. In exchange for pardons all round. Sound like a plan. Is that enough incentive? Maybe, maybe not. The bigger incentive is that Dom's girlfriend's still alive in this bitch. He thought she was dead. She's still alive. Shit. If my girlfriend died... No, 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 no. If she die, that's enough incentive for you to get back in the game in this speech. And what ensues is just action. Somewhere down the line, Fast and Furious stopped being about racing and just became blockbuster movies. Some people have problems with it. I enjoyed this movie. I thought the villain of it was pretty decent. I thought the showdown at the end was okay. But generally, a very enjoyable movie. Do I recommend it? Chances are you've already seen it. These movies just keep getting bigger and bigger. And I, I think they've just planned... 8, 9, and 10 as well. So, goddamn, this is a moneymaker for them. And they are enjoyable movies. And they are action movies. But what you really want to know is about the transfer. So, let's talk about that bitch. Fast and Furious 6. Aspect ratio 235.1. We got the black bars in this bitch. Shot in 35mm. Visual effects 2K. Digital intermediate 2K. DTS X sound the movie itself is a nice appreciable upgrade from the 1080p it's not referenced by any means but it is a noticeable upgrade some bits are more noticeable than others there is a nice level of depth there black levels are very good the hdr is also very good this film is not only about action but it's about locations as well and when they travel to various locations Things do stand out. It's a punchier colour. The colour space is definitely more noticeable. The detail on the actors is also more noticeable. It's not a huge upgrade. Someone coming in the room when you're watching it will probably see the extra detail in parts. Some of it's more subtle than others at times. The scenery, the vistas, the, the landscape, the sunset, the sunrise, and this bitch, look how romantic I'm getting about this transfer in this bitch. It's a nice, appreciable upgrade. Will it be on your top 20? No, I don't think so. But you know you're watching the best version of the movie you can get right now. It's better than fucking Bourne, goddamn! The black levels are very good. You can make it everything very clearly. This disc has a lot going for it, but it's not going to blow you away. But you will appreciate some scenes. Visual effects didn't stand out. They didn't look too artificial, which is also another good thing. So they're doing their thing with the Blu-ray in this bitch. <laughs> A good movie, a great franchise, a real money maker, it's a blockbuster, leave your brain at the door type situation. Some of the situations you'll find these guys in are mind boggling and unbelievable. And you've got to leave your brain at the door because some of this shit defies logic in this speech. But it's a fun, fun movie with an appreciable upgrade. Like I said, it's the best version of the movie you're going to get. And that's pretty much it. Should you pick it up? If you love the movies, I guess you would pick it up anyway. You could wait for a slight discount if you wanted to, but... It's a great movie nonetheless. I don't regret picking it up myself. 
hit the like button if you liked it, definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you on the Fast and Furious 7 4K review. Take care. Frost.